Okay, so now we've created our list and we've manually imported a subscriber into our list. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import your subscriber using a CSV file. Now, you may be wondering, what the heck is a CSV file? A CSV file is basically a flashy Excel document. It's a flashy way of saving your Excel document. So here I've got an Excel document open and I have one column that says the name, one column that says the surname and one column that's got the email address. Now yours may be like super more busy than this one. This is just a little demo one that I put up. Now how you make an Excel document into a CSV file is you literally go to file, save as and here where it says file format you change that to csv and i'm going to save this on my desktop so it's easier for me to get to and i'm going to press save and it says blah 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 some other stuff that i just can't bother to read and i'm just going to press continue okay so that's how i've saved the csv file if you don't have a CSV file, that's fine. There are a number of different ways that you can import your subscribers into MailChimp. You just need to pick which one is best for you. Okay, so let's play a game. Where do we make a list from? Yep, that's right. We make a list either here, well, we can't anymore because it's gone, but we can make a list up here. Okay, so anything to do with your subscribers, anything to do with your forms, anything to do with creating a list is all done here. So let's click on this button to take us to where we can import our subscribers. So here we are in the list section. And as I mentioned before, when you start creating lots and lots of lists, it will all appear here. But for some weird reason, I created this list twice. So I want to delete this list. I can do that easily by clicking in this checkbox here and the delete button appears. So I can just delete this list. It will say, are you sure? And I'm going to say, of course I'm bloody sure. It was a mistake. I'm now going to put in delete and confirm and everything that is in that list will also be deleted. So make sure that you uh, be careful with this. Right, so now our list is deleted. Let's go and import our subscribers. So where do we do that? To import our subscribers, all we need to do is click on this checkbox and press to import subscriber. Now we can choose from these options which way we need to import our subscribers. Now, whichever way is suitable for you, please check and use. I'm going to check the CSV because that's what I have. And from here, I'm just going to check next to get to the next screen. From here, I'm going to upload my file from the desktop. So let's get to there now. And here it says, I understand that my billing plan may be automatically upgraded. So basically what that means is if in the whole of my MailChimp account, I upload this file and it exceeds the 2000 uh, subscriber limit, then my plan will be automatically upgraded. So make sure that you're wary of how many subscribers you've got in your account. And if it goes over the limit, then that's fine. You just need to pray for the pro account. So now let's press next and go to the next screen. So here is where MailChimp detects what columns are in our CSV file. And what we can do is basically match the selection to the columns. Once that's done, we press next and move on to the next screen. Before we import our file into MailChimp, we need to tell MailChimp who these people are. So are they subscribed lists? Are they people that we need to unsubscribe? Are they cleaned addresses? Or do we just need to update our existing list? Once we've selected which one is right for us, we press the import button and that is it. We have imported our first set of victims into our mailing list. Now in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a form that you can put on your website so subscribers could add themselves to your list instead. Stay tuned and make sure you subscribe. This is Diane from Design Creative. I'll see you on the other side.